Hey Calibrate Tools family, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about making holes. And I'm not just talking about holes that you would make with a drill bit or holes that you would make with a spade bit, but we're talking about bigger holes, okay? Holes that require something a little bigger to make them. And that's when these things come into play. They're called hole saws, okay? And you've probably seen them around. But today we're going to talk about how they work. So stick around, I'll see you right after this. <music> Okay, so we got three holes that we got to cut. They're all about two inches in diameter, exactly, right? All the same holes, same size and everything. Well, you could take a drill bit and cut out that hole, but it's going to take a little longer. Let's see how that works. Okay, so we see that a drill bit will do the job, but look at the mess it made and look how messy the circle looks, right? It's got to be a better way. I got it. Why don't we try a spade bit? It's bigger than a drill bit, so it won't take as long and it'll get the hole done faster. Let's do that. Make sure it's lined up correctly. Now at this point, the problem with the spade bit is if I continue to drill out these parts here, my spade bit is gonna exceed the circumference of the circle and it will no longer be a circle. See what I mean? It's gotta be a better way. Hey, how about we try this? A hole saw that's perfectly fitted for that two inch hole. Which one do you think works the best? 
Now, how do you get that out of this? Unscrew the hole saw from the arbor. So when you know the diameter of the hole you want to drill, you can pick the appropriate hole saw to drill that hole. So in that last example, we drilled a two inch hole. So we used a two inch hole saw. But of course they have varying sizes of hole saws to pick from. You got a one inch hole saw here. You got a one and three eighths hole saw. And of course you have the two inch hole saw, which we just saw at work. Now these are multi-material hole saws, meaning that they can drill through wood, metal, stainless steel, steel and they're usually made of a carbide material. And if you look at the teeth on the hole saws, you can see that they're pitched at a certain angle so they can bite into the material and drill through quicker. But you also have hole saws like this one that are designated just to drill into porcelain, tile, and stone. And if you look at the teeth on this one, they're squared. They're not sharp and curved like the others. The square teeth don't bite into the material like these do, the curved teeth. This allows them to cut into harder materials like tiles, ceramics, or glass without shattering them. And you may be wondering, what are all the holes on the sides of the hole saws? Well, those holes allow chips and dust to escape when the hole saw is rotating or spinning or drilling. Kind of like exhaust holes for all of that stuff. I would imagine that these holes also reduce the heat factor due to less friction because of the lack of material there. So that's some innovative thought that went into these. Now these right here are called the arbors. This is what the hole saw screws onto before you put it in the drill truck. And you can replace the drill bits by loosening the Allen screw that's inside of this hole here. You just need the right Allen key. Let's take a look at the drill bit that belongs to the porcelain, tile, and stone hole saw, this one, okay? Notice how pointed and sharp this drill bit is compared to a general multi-material drill bit. Look at the difference. So when you're drilling pilot holes for the porcelain, tile, and stone, you wanna make sure that drill bit is real nice and sharp because you don't wanna shatter anything as opposed to drilling into wood, metal, or steel. So that's why this drill bit looks pretty different. This guy right here is called an impact hole saw. You can plug it into your impact drill and punch holes through that hard material. So these varieties are usually coated with diamond or the metal is infused with diamond to make it harder to cut through that material. Some have no teeth at all. Matter of fact, this edge would look like this edge right here and it's all infused with diamond to make it cut through the material. Okay guys, you see how beneficial it is to have a hole saw around. It cuts out on a lot of time, a lot of frustration. And I know somebody in the comments is gonna say, well, you could have used this, you could have used that, you could have used a jigsaw. But guess what, guys? I don't have a jigsaw right now, but I'll get one and I'll, that'll be another video. Did I do a video on jigsaws already? I don't know. I got to look back in the uh, catalog. But <laughs> anyway, guys, if you know the size of the holes that you want to make, they have them from less than an inch all the way up to uh, over four inches. They got hole saws that make holes in concrete, and those things can range from about this wide and this tall to this wide and this tall, okay? I've seen them. You probably been riding around and you see somebody doing road work and they got those big core drills. They call them core drills that make those giant holes in the ground. I don't know if it's for manholes or what. 
But yeah, they got all kinds of varieties of whole sauce. Check it out, guys. Hey, if you learned something from the video, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And I hope to see you next time.